Hi everyone, welcome to another online video tutorial. In this lesson I'll be teaching you guys how to create a vertical navigation bar in Adobe Dreamweaver Creative Cloud. What I have in front of me is the navigation bar with five buttons, search product services, case study and contact us. It even has a rollover state as you can see and basically that's it that's what you're going to try and learn in this video tutorial so let's you know uh, let's get started let's open up Dreamweaver and the first thing I want to do is I want to go over to file new HTML document and the first thing I want to do is I want to go over to my inserts pane insert a new div I'll name it I'll give it the div ID of navbar and I want to delete content for ID navbar goes here so I'll delete that I then want to go over to insert and click on unordered list a bullet will pop up and what these bullets will later be um, transformed into those bullets will be our buttons so our navigation bar has five buttons we'll have sorry has yeah, has five buttons, so we'll have five bullets. So I'll have search, products, services, um, case, study, and contact us. Just like that. And once you've done that, I'll go over to my CSS designer where it says sources. I'll click on this plus symbol and a drop down menu will appear. I'll click on define in page. While I've selected style, I'll go to selectors and click the plus symbol. I'll type in hash navbar ul for unordered list. I'll hit enter. I then want to go to properties pane. I'll click on this others icon and where it says list style type. I'll change it from undefined to none, just like that. And as you can see, the bullets have disappeared. I then want to add another selector. This time I'll um, type in A for link. And what I want to do is I want to go to text. I'll change the color to a reddish color, like so. I go to set font style I'll set it as oblique for the font weight I'll set it to 900 the font size I want it set as large for text align I want it in the center and where it says text decoration I want it to have it as none just like that so once you've done that I'll go to selectors again and we'll add another selector. This time I will have the selector as hash navbar A. I'll hit enter and I'll give it the following properties. I will go to layout where it says width. I will select pixel and give it 150, 150 pixel width. Where it says display, I'll have it as block, just like that. And where it says background, I'll give it the background color of black. Now, as you can see, um, the properties haven't been established yet or haven't been given to the links or to the, um, to the buttons. And the reason for that is this text, um, they're not links yet, they're still text. So in order to um, have these, this text as links, what we need to do is go over to Window, Properties, sorry, let's highlight that. Let's go to Windows, Properties, and where it says Link, I then want to individually highlight each um, button. I then want to go to Link, and I want to give it a dummy link so I'll press shift and three which is hash and what hash allows us to do 
is give it a dummy link is basically allows the um, the text to become a hyperlink without it having having to be um, to have a legitimate HTML address if that makes any sense so as you can see once I've assigned it a dummy link the properties um, have been given to the text so I'll do that with each individual link I'll highlight services go to link press hash just like that and once I've done that I want to go back into my selectors pane I want to highlight A I want to go back to text and I want to change that color to white just like that and now what we want to do now is we want to give our navigation bar our um, our hover over state so let's add another selector this time I'll have it as hash navbar a colon hover apostrophe a colon active apostrophe a colon focus now I'll, once that's done I'll select that selector then I'll go to properties pane I'll then go to background and where it says background color I'll select a lightish gray just like that so once you've done that let's test out our navigation bar let's go to live view and as you can see each button has a hover over state which is pretty cool so let's go to um, let's first save this just like that and let's check it out in live live view and there we have it it took a little um, while to load but there we have it we have five buttons with our with you know rollover states um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial uh, more video tutorials will be coming up um, please like the video and subscribe to my channel Thanks for watching.